Well, my name is Toya Mansell. I'm a registered dietitian and I am the owner and founder of Happily Ever After Nutrition. Yes, so Happily Ever After Nutrition is a virtual nutrition private practice ready to meet clients' nutrition, health, and wellness needs through nutrition coaching, nutrition counseling, and nutrition education classes. Our virtual private practice is designed to provide services to clients without coming into an office setting. Our program is delivered 100% online, live through a video conference platform with a registered dietitian. Clients can meet with their provider in the comfort of their own home using a HIPAA compliant video technology. Uh, sometimes our clients may have yearly checkups with their family physician, which is a perfect way to assess their health. And if they have any issues like diabetes, prediabetes, um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or any other health related issue, occasionally um, a more detailed observation may be needed to assess how their eating habits may be linked to their chronic disease or adverse health issues. So that's when a registered dietitian uh, can be extremely helpful in providing a specialized care in the modification of their diet to treat various medical, condition, uh, medical conditions. Um, Happily Ever After Nutrition helps clients achieve optimal nutrition and health, as well as prevent nutrition-related diseases. And some of our topics that we cover are uh, nutrition coaching, counseling, education, and weight loss, uh, plant-based eating, micronutrients, um, prediabetes, stress management, and many more. And uh, just to let you know what I do um, as a registered dietitian, and I am a, the owner and the registered dietitian, um, you can also call us an RD for short. But according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, a registered dietitian are food and nutrition experts who have um, met extensive educational training criteria, bachelor's and master's level, um, and completed a accredited supervised uh, practice program and internship through the accredited Council for Education and Nutrition and Dietetics. Of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. <laughs> um, so basically we've passed our national examination that's administered by the Commission on Dietetic Registration. And so basically in short, registered dietitians advise people on what to eat, to lead a healthy lifestyle or to achieve a health related goal. The first step to handling adversity on the job is to identify who's involved uh, what type of adversity you're experiencing. For example, the adversity that, uh, that's in the dietetic industry is facing is having a lack of dietitians from underrepresented backgrounds. So in the dietetic industry, 80% of registered dietitians are white, only 6% Hispanic Latino, 3% Black or African, 5% Asian. Native Americans, the percent is so low that it's not even counted. Um, the populations that have the highest percentage of chronic diseases that are preventable through nutrition and uh, lifestyle changes are populations that have the lowest percentage of registered dietitians. So having other racial and ethnic groups um, is increasingly important to meet the needs of all individuals who may require or seek out dietetic services. Uh, being able to use those skills and your character traits that um, you have can assist with handling adversity. Skills like determining uh, determination, being responsible, being flexible, having a perspective to view adversity as an opportunity to improve rather than um, challenge to overcome can help you stay positive as you address adversity. And in my own experience, knowing the disparity in underrepresented groups and dietitians, I decided to become involved with the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. I'm currently now the chair of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics Inclusion diversity, equity, and access committee, basically challenging these vexing issues. The female leader that has inspired me the most is Dr. Evelyn Creighton. She's the first black president of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and she's also a registered dietitian. I am so fortunate to personally know her and work with her. I've been able to hear the stories that she's had of becoming a registered dietitian over 60 years ago, living in the South. And I admire her for her perseverance through all the difficult times, never giving up um, through the unjust, the unfair experiences that she's endured. She has inspired and motivated me to be a leader myself, to continue to fight for the change that I wanna see in this industry. Um, I feel that she, if she could do it during those times, I can definitely do it. Um, continue to be open to new opportunities that arise, continue to push boundaries to become better, remain a lifelong learner, network, network, network. I can't mention that enough. Join um, organization and 
and associations that pertain to your field to get those networking opportunities um, that will help you advance in your career. Don't be afraid um, to start an internship with different organizations before you decide to get locked into a job. Starting with an internship will not only help you network or get um, your foot in the door or inside connections, but it can teach you the skills um, that you can go into another organization and say that you have that experience. Also, just because you're a new, in a new career, don't get chump change, which I, I say chump change, <laughs> on your salary. Definitely negotiate your salary. Um, let them know what you want and come to an agreement. And that's some of the advice that I have for students who are preparing for their first real world career.